Hi, I'm Edwin Walker, Independent Program Attorney for Texas Law Shield. I would like to speak with you today just a few moments about accidental discharges of firearms. The first word about accidents is don't have them. Most accidental discharges are completely avoidable by simply observing the four rules of gun safety. Number one, always assume every firearm is loaded. Number two, do not point the firearm at anything that you do not want to destroy. Number three, keep your finger off the trigger of the firearm. And number four, always know what is in the background of any direction you're shooting the firearm. In the event that you're cleaning your firearm or showing your firearm to somebody else, taking very simple steps such as dropping the magazine and locking the slide back or opening the bolt or releasing the cylinder will keep you from having many accidental discharges. Also, with most modern firearms, they will not discharge if you accidentally drop them. In the event that there is an accidental discharge, it is important to remember that accidents are not crimes. Criminal activity comes when people do things intentionally, knowingly, or recklessly. True accidents are not crimes. Also, there is no legal obligation to report yourself to the police when you have an accidental discharge of a firearm. Now, in the event that there is an accidental discharge of your firearm, if there is no injury to any person, nor is there any property damage, or there is only property damage to your own property, you should not call the police. There is no legal requirement that you call the police to report this. In the event that you have an accidental discharge and there is no injury to a person, but there is damage to another person's property, it is just as if you damage the person's property through any other means. You should consult with that property owner and see if you can resolve the damage issue without the intervention of the police. In the event that you have an accidental discharge but injure yourself, seek medical attention immediately. Call 911 for an ambulance if, if necessary. I'm sure that once the police find out that it involves a shot, there will be a police investigation. If you accidentally discharge a firearm and injure a third person, seek medical attention immediately. Call 911, call an ambulance. Once dispatch knows that it was a gunshot wound, I am quite certain the police will soon follow to investigate the incident. In the most unfortunate event that someone is actually killed from an accidental discharge, there are two possible crimes the police could investigate. One is manslaughter. Manslaughter is the killing of another person through a reckless activity. So again, the state would have to prove that someone knew of the risk and that they consciously disregarded the risk and engaged in the activity anyway. The other is criminally negligent homicide. Now this does sound like something that would cover accidents, and it does. However, the accident has to be of such a nature that it is a gross deviation from the ordinary standard of care. Ordinary accidents are not criminal activities. If a risk is so substantial that the individual should have known that the risk existed, then it could be judged to be gross negligence and therefore it would be criminal. In summation, most accidental discharges are in fact truly accidents, and true accidents are not crimes. However, there will most certainly be civil liability for the damages to property and the injuries to persons that result from an accidental discharge, just as there would be civil liability for damages done by any other accident that somebody has with a car or any other tool that they may have. Remember, Accidents are entirely preventable. Don't have them. But in the event that you do have an accidental discharge, it is not a criminal act for you to have one, and it does not require that the police be informed. If the police do find out about it and they investigate it, simply tell them that it was, in fact, an accident. Do not give them any circumstances that would make them believe that you, in fact, engaged in reckless behavior and not negligent behavior. Having firearms and carrying firearms is a great right that we possess. Along with it, it's a great responsibility. Please act responsibly with your firearms and help us eliminate all accidental discharges.